Hello, everyone. I think we're live. Ooh, I'm still a little nervous today. My name is Kelly. I'm here representing Ranger live from my kids' playroom. Super exciting. Um, like most of you, I'm working from home. I just want to confirm that we're live. I have my iPad. Um, yes, we are. Okay. Awesome. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to be able to see comments on my phone in just a second after I get through my intro, um, but I'm really excited to be here today. We really felt like even though we were working from home, it was so important that we continue to bring to you live videos. So here I am in my playroom. <laughs> I have a little, little setup, a little video set up. Um, but we really wanted to continue to bring you some crafting inspiration to really help inspire and get you creating. I posted a few days ago a post about leaning in on each other during this time and the one thing that brought us together as a community, which is crafting and our love for it. So it's really important to me to continue to bring to you some live videos and just have fun. Um, so here I am, live from the playroom. I thought I would just take a minute and introduce myself this time because I've been doing a few videos already um, and I hope to do a lot more. So I just wanted to introduce myself, tell you a little bit about me. My name is Kelly, obviously. Um, I am the social media manager at Ranger. I started working in this industry uh, in 2004 during the peak of scrapbooking. I've worked for three other crafting companies until I landed at Ranger in 2011 and I have been with them ever since. Um, my roles have changed over the years, um, but last year I was asked to be the social media manager and focus solely on social media. I was also asked if I'd be comfortable coming to you guys live to share with you all some of our Ranger branded products like Stickles and Liquid Pearls, Perfect Pearls, those fabulous products that don't have a signature designer behind them. So even though I am not a public speaker, and I do apologize for that, I do have a passion for Ranger and for crafting, but most of all, I love talking to people. I love interacting with all of you on a daily basis. I love coming on here and chatting and just having fun. So if anything, um, if these videos bring you anything at all, I hope that they bring you fun. And that's what I hope we have here today, this afternoon. It's a beautiful Friday and um, the sun is shining in New Jersey and can't do too much, but we can join each other virtually and have a little crafting session. And so I wanted to make some cards today using our new glitter gels, share with you about them, maybe give you some tips and tricks on how to use them and just, you know, have some time together. If you have any questions, if you want to tell me anything, you want to talk, I am here to listen. I have no place to be. Um, and of course, I, I had practice talking about my personal life in my little introduction about my husband and children and I left them out. So I am married. I have two kids, a five-year-old girl, Savannah, and a two-year-old boy, Kellen. They are home with my husband and he just took them outside. So hopefully we won't be interrupted, but if we are, I extremely apologize. Um, that being said, uh, let's get started with some glitter gels. I'm excited. I um, have three cards that we're going to make today and talk about glitter gels. And if you have any questions, oh, and important thing, as always, please share the video. If you share the video and put a comment in the comments below that you've shared it, I will enter you into my drawing to win some um, prizes. So I don't know, maybe I'll give out two or three glitter gel um, prize packages. So be sure you share the video and comment below, ask questions. I'll be happy to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and let's get started. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here and I'm gonna pull up my comments. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if this works, guys. Okay, so these are the three comments. Hi, everyone. Oh, I do see your comments. Hello, hello. I hope everyone is doing well. Okay, so these are the three cards that we are going to make uh, today with the glitter gels. I'm so excited. Um, okay, so let me talk to you about the glitter gels themselves. We have six colors. And if you have any problems seeing the video or hearing me, just let me know. 
I want to make sure everything is working good. But on my end, it looks like everything is working well. So that being said, um, we have six colors of glitter gels and I kind of swatched them out too. So I'm gonna start with Moon Dust. I'll name the colors and talk about them a little bit and then I'll open them up so you could actually see them up close and hold the swatches. Um, so we have Moon Dust and so Stickles Glitter Gels are like our Stickles Glitter Glue but kicked up a few notches. They have various shapes and sizes and colors of glitter in them. Um, some have stars, some have circles, some have little flecks, and it is a clear base. So just like our glitter glue, it is a clear base, and then it has the glitter mixed in. And it is a very, I'm gonna hold this up. Uh, let me, there we go. It's a very thick formula to get the right there we go very thick formula and thanks for sharing the video everyone I hope you guys have fun with me today it's Friday um so this is our moon dust and so moon dust let me show you I swatched them out on it's kind of hard to see the real like reflection but this is a very pretty iridescent frosted look and I did it on white ends on the black so you could see how the color changes on the cardstock. Um, next we have, this is Nebula. I think Nebula is my favorite. And it's this beautiful champagne. Let's see if I can hold this up. I gotta, it's hard to, there we go. It's this beautiful champagne color and it has stars, flecks of stars. And let me show you the swatches. You can really see that there. Really pretty and you can see it on the black. It's a very pretty champagne with gold stars running throughout and it kind of has, it has iridescent flecks in it. So depending on how the light catches it, it really shows on the black, yes. Um, okay, and then we have, I'm just gonna keep these open and what I'll do, I'll just move these up a little. Next we have, uh, this is Supernova. And Supernova is like a gold, so we have a space theme. Hi everyone. Um, thank you for tuning in. Yes, the variety of glitter is really awesome. So this is really more of a kind of chunky gold. I'm gonna move that up, there we go. Uh, chunky kind of gold um, one and it has stars in it as well. So I will show you that. I went out of order, here we go, Supernova. And Supernova kind of has this really pretty, um, get a good angle here, kind of turquoise like a greeny turquoise fleck to it and you've got those gold stars it's very dense hey Jackie and then of course here it is on black okay so that's supernova then we have um, this is solar flare and solar flare is a gold as well and that has stars as well. Um, it's a little bit more of a yellow gold. So let's get that up there. You can see those stars in there. Can you add water to your inkers that got thick? Um, if they're water-based, if it's a water-based ink, like a dye ink, um, and let me grab my palette knife here. Well, I'll show you the consistency when I'm done going through all the colors, but here is Solar Flare swatched out and Solar Flare on black. And on black, you could really see those um, colors and those iridescent uh, really pop off the black there. Do they dry up faster than sticklers since they are in an open container? Um, you mean in the jar? Um, I have not seen them dry out. Um, they do dry quicker on st um, quicker on paper than stickles, I find, um, believe it or not, depending on how thick you put them on, of course. So then we have Asteroid, which is this beautiful silver. And Asteroid has these round discs in them. So let's pull up Asteroid. So here is the swatch for Asteroid, and I don't know why I'm, sorry, I'm like holding this backwards. Asteroid, 
and it's very glittery. And so the best way to apply these is with a palette knife directly to the paper or through a stencil. And that is what I'm gonna show you today. So that is Asteroid. And then of course, last but not least, we have Dark Matter. And Dark Matter is a black and it has those circles as well as these um, various color flecks. It's really pretty. It's like a party in a jar. <laughs> it is glittery goodness, that is sure. And you know what? Glitter makes you happy, right? So we have these beautiful turquoise and fuchsia purple color flecks throughout the black glitter as well as some silver circles. And you can really see the colors on the black. So there you go. Very pretty, right? So I just wanted to show you the consistency of these. And this is the Ranger palette knife set. I don't know if you guys know that this exists, but it has it's a four piece set and it has four different palette knives in it. And this is a great tool um, accompaniment to these glitter gels. It has four different sizes depending on how you're applying. I love this larger one for spreading it across a larger surface. I'll use that later. And um, I like these smaller ones here for going through stencils, uh, depending on the size of the stencil. So um, this is a really great tool set for these gels. And I wanna show you the thickness before I get started with the crafting aspect but you can see it is like not quite as thick as slime but it's a lot thicker than our um our original stickles i love moon dust asteroid and dark matter they are pretty oh dark matter isn't dark matter really cool Let me hold this closer there it is so you could kind of see that that thickness there You know what, I'm gonna just zoom in just like a little bit. Great set, is it plastic? Yes, these are plastic. The, um, the palettes, the palette knives are plastic. Okay, so let's get started with our projects. So you can see these in action. And so, <laughs> I have this brand new craft sheet here and I'm so afraid to mess it up. I'm gonna actually put a, a not as nice craft sheet down on top of it. Isn't that terrible? But it's so pretty. So I hope you all had a good, while I'm doing this, I hope everybody's been having a good week. Um, let's see, definitely dark matter with all those colors, yes. Are those stars in the silver? In the silver, there's actually round discs, not stars. Under the Sea Project, yeah, so I'm actually gonna use that on an Under the Sea Project right now, and I think we'll start with that one. So um, I'm gonna start with this card here, and do they rinse off? Yes, okay, so when you put them through the stencil, you wanna make sure you uh, rinse your stencils off immediately after while they're still wet in water. They clean off all your tools and stencils with no problem, but you don't want it to dry, because once it dries, then you'll have to kind of scrape it off and it might ru ruin your stencil. So I definitely suggest working with like a little container of water next to you and just put your stencils right in um, as you're working with them. Also, I wanted to note that these are a water-based product and I do not recommend them on fabric. I know some people might be curious. Um, you could use it over canvas uh, in your art journal or anything like that. But if you're gonna wash it, they will not stay. They're water-based, so they're not washable. So I hope that answers that question. Um, rinse off the stencils with water. Yeah, so I answered that. Yep, rinse very easily with water, no problem. All right, so let's get going. I actually organized myself into these little baskets. So I have everything I need for each card. And we're just gonna get going. Oh, I wanna put up, down my my dirty craft sheet so I don't ruin my nice craft sheet. So this is my, my working craft sheet. Okay. So 
Um, just working on Wendy Vecchi Perfect White Cardstock. I trimmed it from four and a quarter by five and a half to four by five and a quarter so it fits on a card base like this. These are available now. You can buy them at your favorite online retailer or local store um, and they're available on rangerink.com as well. Okay, so the thing I love about these cards that I came up with for today is that they use a complete variety of products without any rhyme or reason um, because I'm working from home so I'm limited to whatever I was able to either take home with me from the office or that I already had here. So it's a complete assortment of different designers products, rangers products, and I really enjoy that because I feel like that's how most of us create. We don't own every single part of everybody's line and I really wanted to show that everything in your stash can work together. And if you're like, I'm gonna be using some Make Art Blendable dye inks as well as some Simon Hurley dye inks. And I just like the colors and there's no rhyme or reason, there's no right or wrong. And my craft sheet is not Yupo paper. This is a Teflon material. It's our Ranger nonstick craft sheet. So I'm gonna just go ahead in here. I'm gonna start with some Bluebird dye ink and I'm gonna use a blending tool and I'm just going to apply some ink to my Wendy Vecchi Perfect Cardstock. If you've seen live videos with me before, I am not a neat crafter. I already got a little spot there. Um, I am not an expert crafter. Um, I feel like I am the most everyday <laughs> crafter you will find so I just like to experiment and have fun with it and that's what we're here to do so it doesn't have to be perfect in my book I just like to play around and enjoy hey Wendy I saw you pop up how are you thanks for tuning in okay so now we're gonna go in with some garden patina and if you have any other questions about any of the products I'm using, please feel free to ask. Um, I'm going to go a little bit quick because I have a lot I want to do, but, you know, I'm here to hang out. I'm here to hang out for the afternoon with you. This is my, this is my new happy hour, guys. Crafties, crafters get inky fingers. Yeah, I'm a mess, though. I'm a mess. <laughs> I get inky. So I'm just really just blending these inks together and I'm not thinking too hard about it. Um, what is perfect cardstock? Let me get my package um, so you can see, but it's Wendy Becky Make Art Perfect Cardstock. They come in packs of four and a quarter by five and a half panels, and they also come in folded cards, both top fold and side fold, and they come in gray, which is this really amazing gray color. Um, it's just a very neutral, it's like a great gray, I love it, um, and white. So those are available on our website. Okay, and then the top color here, I'm actually gonna go in with Simon Hurley Minty Fresh. This is one of his newer colors. And again, I am mixing and matching here today. No rhyme or reason. And I, yes, I did use the same blending tool for the Bluebird and Garden Patina. Um, they're pretty close in colors to me, so I'm not really worried about contamination. What weight is it? I believe it's 110 pound. It's, it's a really nice weight cardstock. Oh, thanks, Lisa. I'm glad that you're enjoying me using a variety of products. Yeah, I didn't want to stick to one thing, um, mostly because I didn't have everything from everybody's line. I have an assortment with me, and I feel like that is so important to show that everything works together. Yes. Um, oh, <laughs> Wendy's giving you all, all the um, details, so... The white is 110 and the gray is 100. And yes, they are like the Nina.
Love Simon's Incline. Yes, yeah, Simon has some great um, colors and he has some awesome names. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Um, just a little ink blending there. And so this is a funny thing. I'm just gonna get rid of everything I'm not using. I thought I brought home a distress sprayer with me, um, but I didn't, so I had to be a little handy. And I have the, this is the flat brush of uh, Tim Holtz water brush. I don't know, we have a detailer tip and we have this wider flat tip. And guys, check this out. Like this is a complete accident, but I realized I was able to create these bubbles using this. and. Like those are just the perfect under the water bubble to me. So this was a happy accident. So what I just did is squeeze, the, actually let me just get it started. Squeeze a little bit of water out and I just let it bloop, 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 drop. It creates these big droplets. The perfect under the sea bubble right here, guys. Total accident. And yes, you need to make the sound effect. It's important. <laughs> really pretty color combo. Thank you so much. I love blues and greens. I always like lean towards them. So no rhyme or reason. I'm just having fun dropping these waters, oh, these water bubbles. And then I just am going to, to create some of the little water droplets. I make sure I have water on my brush and then I just am flicking. And because these are dye inks, they will react to water. I think the sound effects help. I do. Okay. So then once you're happy with that, I'm just going to take a, I have a dry paper towel. My dry paper towel kind of got wet. And I just do a quick blot. I will tell you, I don't have a heat tool <laughs> with me. Um, I thought I thought I asked for a heat tool and a um, sprayer, but I don't have it. So that's okay. We are just going with it. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put this aside for a second and just let it dry a little bit. And then what I did here, okay, so these are Dina Wakely uh, chipboard shapes. And let me pull the package out. So they come like this. These are birds. And she also has this under the sea set. Um, these are some pieces left, some coral. But it also has this cute octopus. And it also has um, this starfish and seahorse. So I thought I was gonna gonna use them on the card I make today. And what I did on this this octopus is I colored him with um, the Crown Me Simon Hurley ink. And then I put the dark matter glitter gel on top. And I wanted to show you that, um, I wanted to show you that even though that's a like black glitter, you can still see the ink on top because all of the bases are clear bases in the glitter gel. So even though um, it's black, it's dark like this, you could still see the purple through and I thought that was important to let you guys know. So I'm just gonna colorize these and I can't remember. So I want it to be like, I thought I would do it this way and kind of tuck these guys together like that was my plan. Because I only had one octopus, so um, I'm going to do him purple. And I think I just went right directly to the thing, to the chipboard. I just did this two days ago. I don't know why I can't remember. Maybe I used a blending tool. Um, of course, I don't have another foam. All right, I'm just going to use this. Guys, don't be mad at me, but I'm going to use this, <laughs> this same foam because... Um, my other foams are packed away. Aquarol paper. No, this is just white cardstock. <laughs> and 
and it's funny I had water I guess on my um craft sheet here and it looks like it made its own eye for this little seahorse <laughs> so these chipboard shapes are great because you can ink them and you can spray on them you can really do anything on them uh, Dina's been really showing a lot of techniques with her new gloss sprays on them um, so there he is a little purple seahorse and put that aside and then I'm gonna actually use pebble beach on this little starfish um, this is a new archival ink color and let's see if I can just go direct see now this I'm, I'm able to go direct I feel like that's what I did the last time okay so it's a really pretty gray taupe color love that isn't that purple gorgeous it is a really pretty pretty color there so this is what we have here now I'm gonna glitter gel over top of them so I'm gonna get my palette knife from my palette knife set it doesn't matter which one I'm going to open up I'm gonna use dark matter for the seahorse and I think I'm gonna do nebula for the um, starfish Yes, you can wash out your, somebody said they use them for different colors all the time. You can wash them out. And I don't worry about cross-contamination. If you get another ink color at the top, there's a lot of ink in that patch. So if on the surface you get some of that ink, you can just rub it on a piece of cardstock and clean it. And it won't contaminate your entire ink pad. Okay, so see, um, I'm just going to start applying this gel to the surface of this. Now the drying time depends on how thick of a layer you put on. If you go through a, and this is a thing where it may seem like a good idea to put a lot on, but really less is more. Um, you get a really pretty effect with the less and a really um, short, oh, I got some purple on there, that's okay. See, messy crafter, I'm just gonna to the side um I guess I should have wiped up that ink first okay so you get a really pretty effect um just by putting a thin layer on and a really short and dry dry time I'm just using my finger to kind of clean up the edges but let me bring that up and we're gonna just let that dry I actually really like that I'm gonna put it aside to dry and I'm gonna come in and just wipe this. So, if you do thin layers, it'll take about maybe 15 to 20 minutes to dry completely um, with a thin layer versus maybe a couple hours to dry with a really thick layer. Um, when I did the swatches, I went pretty thick with them and I let them dry for a few hours. I actually did it at the end of the day and I, I left let them dry overnight just to make sure they were nice and dry. But um, a thin layer, you can get it to dry within 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm just setting that aside to start drying now. And then um, you can kind of hit it with a heat tool to speed it along a little bit. I personally am not a fan of drying with a heat tool, but you can. Um, I should say I'm a fan of drying water with a heat tool, like inks and stuff, but glue, I'm, I'm okay with just setting aside and letting it dry personally. But if you really need to speed it along, you can hit, hit it with the heat tool and it won't bubble or anything like that. Can you apply it with a foam brush? I would imagine so. My concern with a foam brush is that it will absorb in because it is a glue and I would be worried that I would be losing a lot of the product being absorbed into the foam. That's why I like the um, plastic spatula because you can wipe off the excess and put it back in the jar. I feel like you're conserving your um, material a little bit more with the plastic. Okay, so here we are. We're gonna apply this um, black, is it black matter? No, dark matter, sorry. <laughs> dark matter to um, the seahorse and I'm just doing a thin layer 
and because I want to show you that the even though it's a black glitter you if you do a thin layer you can still see the purple through that I'm gonna put it down And like I said, you want to wipe off your tools, you want to wipe off your stencils as you're working. I just have a wet paper towel next to me. Um, but a nice little like Sterilite like container filled with water is great to have next to you to just throw your tools and your stencils right in for like a quick for an easy cleanup. Okay, so and then actually what I did, you'll see here there's some excess in between. I just use this palette knife just to go in there and clean it up. So there's our starfish. Is it a paste? Um, it is a gel. It is a thick clear base gel um, that has a lot of glitter mixed into it. I know the dark matter is so pretty. Okay. So I'm gonna let those dry for a minute. I'm gonna go back to my card base. Oop, I just hit my thing. Okay. I'm glad you guys are liking it. I'm just gonna wipe. See, this is why I needed a dirty craft sheet. I don't wanna mess up my perfect nice one. Okay, I'm gonna come back in here. And what I did here is, I don't know if you can see on this sample, but I actually added little bubbles um, with, I used the moon dust. Um, so someone said perfect under the sea. Well, these are really um, adorable bubbles. And how I did that was this is a Dilutions Dialogue stencil. So I needed something that had the perfect little bubble. And so I thought this was like the great, a great shape for that. And what I did was I just overlapped it with these other bowls that I created. And again, I'm gonna go in with the palette knife. And this is when you want a very little a bit. So I actually made this card twice. The first time I feel like I just put too much through the bubble and it was, I don't know, I just didn't like it. I liked this effect a lot better. So let me just hold that up. I don't know if you could see that guy right there, but it's just a really pretty um, effect. And I'm just gonna continually adding the moon dust in the areas where the bubbles overlap. And just a little bit goes a long way. You can even scrape. These flexible palette knives are really a good tool to have for this. And I kind of just went up one side of the card, the side of the card that my um, chipboard is not on. And I'm just gonna continue adding these things. Like so, you guys seeing that? Oh, thank you so much, Diana. What do I do at Ranger? Okay, so I am um, Ranger's social media manager. So any of the posts and comments you see on our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, um, Pinterest, that's, that's me. Um, I started at Ranger in 2011. Um, I worked for three other craft companies before that. So I've been in this world for quite some time. It's definitely a passion of mine. I love the industry. And I love Ranger. I love Ranger's products. So I'm no expert. But Ranger's been a big part of my life in the last nine years. So I joke, like, I got married. I had two children, all while working at Ranger. I bought my first house. Kind of grew up at Ranger. 
Um, yes, it is a nice, it is a very subtle effect, but I really, I love how it looks next to the, um, those like big water splats that I accidentally stumbled across making. So let me hold this up so you guys can see it. So just really simple. So we're gonna put that aside to dry. And then, um, my hands are <laughs> like, I am the messiest crafter ever. And it's only gonna get messier because we're gonna do alcohol inks too. Hi everyone, thank you all for tuning in. Again, if you um, are just tuning in and you missed the beginning, this will be posted to our Facebook so you can always hop on and watch the replay at any time. Um, you can also share this video and let me know that you shared it so I can enter you into our giveaway and I'll be giving away uh, two sets of these glitter gels. Okay, so let me now Um, this is, um, I pre-stamped the sentiment here, which is the seize the day sentiment. And I used, I'll show you where that came from. This is a Simon Hurley stamp set, clear stamp set. And it's from here, seize the day right here. So again, a mix and match thing. These are, um, photopolymer made in the USA stamps, um, Simon Hurley. And this is the surf's up set. And next, okay, this is another, I just, I, I needed a liquid adhesive. I wanted to glue the chipboard down with it. I'm just gonna use it now for this because it's just easy. Um, this is our ice resin leather adhesive. It's a very similar to glossy accents. I put a Ranger Fine Tip applicator on here. We sell these in packs of 10 and they're great on liquid pearls bottles, stickles bottles. If you want like a really fun application. Um, it, I would use like a multi-medium for this, um, but I don't have it at home. So I had happen to have this and that's what I'm going with. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, it has creases because this was like a, I don't know how I ended up with it. I typically do roll them, um, but I want to say it was like, it was pre, it was folded. I got it folded or it was like a cutoff of something. Do you know what I mean? But yes, if you roll them, they won't crease. And yes, you should not fold them. This one was already folded. So, okay. So I'm just, that's my little saying there. Seize the day. Um, all right, let's just, I'm going to just move ahead and assemble this. It's a little bit damp still, but I want to get onto the other things or... Hey Marie, how are you? Or I'm wondering if I should just assemble everything after. What do you guys think? Should we continue on? Maybe we'll make all our backgrounds and pieces and then we'll assemble after so that everything can dry a little bit more. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do this so you guys can see. Thanks so much for sharing everyone. I'm gonna do something like this. I haven't really played with this layout too much, but it'll be something like this when we're all done. So I'm just going to move this to the side and I'm gonna start on the other cards while this dries a little bit more. Oh, thanks for sharing, Tina. Yeah, so I just, I think that this time has been really amazing seeing everybody come together and do their live videos and demos and just have fun with it, right? Like that's what it's all about, having fun. Okay, so the next card I'm going to do is, let's do um, this one. This one is really fun to create. And, um, oh, thank you, assemble later. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so, um, so anyway, so here we go. We're going to move on to this card here. Um, let me get my next bin. So this one is an alcohol ink background. So I'm going to share how I made this kind of galactic alcohol ink background. And we're going to work on a piece of Yupo paper that I cut down to four by five and a quarter. Typically, I would create my background on the full five by seven piece and then trim it, 
but just for time of the video, I pre-cut everything. I know, isn't the little dog cut? Um, so because of that, I decided um, to pre-cut everything. But if you were making these backgrounds, I would suggest working on a full five by seven and then finding the best part and trimming around it. I just think that looks better. Um, but that being said, this is gonna be great too. No worries. Okay, just drop something. Okay, I'm just cleaning up my work surface. If you saw how small my area is that I'm working on now, you'd be pretty surprised. <laughs> okay, so we are gonna go in here with some alcohol ink, um, some alcohol pearl, some new alloy, mixative. Um, we're gonna use the new air blower. I love this tool. If you have not seen a demo with it, um, you're in luck. Um, if not, um, Tim actually did some amazing demos recently with alcohol ink. So definitely check out his blog or his Facebook page for that. Um, again, this is alcohol ink Yupo I am working on. All right, so we're just going to kind of happened on this background by accident. So I'm going to just do my best to like achieve the same look. I'm just applying some ink around the page. And this is a pearl, so you want to shake it really good so you hear this mixing ball rattle. Too bad I don't have a net die. That would look really cute if I had a net for behind it. Or like a real net. Okay, so really nicely shaken. Again, just applying some color here. Um, no rhyme or reason. I love alcohol ink. I use it a lot. I never know what I'm gonna get, and I'm okay with that. And then gunmetal. This is a mixative. It works very different than an alloy. And I want this for some of that dark color in there. And I think I'm gonna, um, this is already different than what I did the first time. That's okay. I want some more dark, okay. Then I'm gonna come in with some blending solution and my air blower. I'm gonna add some blending solution over to this and a few areas. This just really gets the ink moving. And we're just gonna blow these inks together. I'm just moving around. You can add more blending solution. Yeah, you never know what you're gonna get. And if you don't like it, you can always add blending solution and add more on top of it. So I have a lot of blue happening. I wanna see if I can get some of those purples back in there. Um, I was like really, the first background, I was like really um, playing with techniques. So I did like two or three things on top of each other. And I feel like it's very hard to replicate how calling. Um, but that's all right. I'm just having fun. And this is supposed to be like a galaxy, so it's okay if it's dark. That's kind of what I wanted the look I was going for. I'm just trying to get all the edges covered because this is going to be my full panel. So I want to make sure that everything is covered. I don't know why I keep putting the caps back on when I'm just going to take them back off. So the air blower is really great for moving around the, the inks without much effort or without killing your breath. 
by blowing through a straw or whatever. Okay, so I really like that area there. Um, I'm just gonna add here. So I'm just trying to cover up all the areas. I'm gonna put a lot of blending solution. I'm a like blending solutionaholic. <laughs> I am always putting blending solution on things. Okay, so we're getting there. I'm just gonna actually put more blending solution there. Okay. I kind of like that. I wish I had more mixative in there, but I'm not even going to worry about that that much. And I don't even care if there's like a little white spots. I don't know. I think that looks pretty with them. I'm just going to break. break. Uh, I'm just going to put a little there just so I can spread this over. So I don't know. I kind of like that. I think that's good. It's galactic. Yes, very a lot healthier than um, putting it through a straw. So the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, alloy. So the alloys are completely different than the mixatives. The mixatives are designed to be intermixed with the alcohol ink. That's why they're called the mixative. The alloy alloy actually breaks up and sits on top of the alcohol ink. Again, good shake. You wanna get the pigment all mixed up. We're just gonna add a few drops. Boop, boop. And as you drop these, you could already immediately start to see them fizzle and spread out. And then you can go in with some blending solution, <laughs> my favorite. And let's just see what happens. So now this is gonna just change everything, right? Cause we added some blending solution, we added some alloy, we have some galaxy situations happening. I feel like I need a little bit there and there. Again, a little blending solution. And we're just gonna Okay. Oh, and I do not like when I get the, I don't know, can you see this guys? I don't like when I get these, um, like fingers, I don't know, spiky fingers, but that's easily solved with, guess what, blending solution. <laughs> Sometimes you, that's when you're like pushing the air too hard. When you get a little like happy with this air blower, that happens. But look, you just break it up. So I like that. I think that's very like galactic. Um, so I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna set that aside here. I'm going to clean up here. Okay. My hands are, whew. All right, I'm gonna just let that dry a minute. I'm gonna come in and get my other parts of my card together. So I have this little doggy here and he is from this, this is also a Simon Hurley stamp, clear stamp set. And so it's the helmet here with like the dog stamped inside. So these little cr critters here fit inside of the helmet. So I went ahead and pre-stamped that and um, fussy cut it. I'm a terrible fussy cutter. But here it is. Um, I didn't mean the mad face. Sorry. Oh, good. <laughs> I know, right, Cheryl? I agree. Blending solution fixes everything. So I have my little dog in my helmet here. I also have my sentiment from the same stamp set, You're Out of This World, and a little piece of inked cardstock. So this is just archival ink, I believe, Wild Berry. It's a lettering ink. And then I actually took some of that Crown Me um, dye ink and just kind of muddied it a little bit um, just to bring out some of that purple. So this is my sentiment. Here's my little stamped piece. 
always st stamp in jet black archival. Wendy Vecchi will tell you it is the only thing she stamps in. It is the best stamping ink ever. <laughs> and then we're gonna just go in and color with some distress markers. Just super quick and easy, not anything crazy. I like to use the water brush with them. How are we on time? Oh, 50 minutes. Do you think I'll be done by five o'clock? That's my goal. Which alloy do, did I use? Okay, alloy is sterling. You guys see that? And I used, let me tell you, I used Intrigue Pearl. I used Turquoise Alcohol Ink. I used Indigo Alcohol Ink. And I used Gunmetal Mixative. And the new Dina gloss sprays are really great for creating galactic backgrounds as well. Okay, so, so for the dog, I used um, pumice stone. And I like to color on my craft sheet like that and then pick it up with a water brush. That's just my process. Do I have water in this water brush? I'm gonna get some water out, there we go. All right, so I'm just coloring this little doggy here. I'm gonna color his body. I, I'm keeping it nice and light because I don't want to detract from the background. There's like a lot happening there. And then I'm going to go in with this. Um, oh, this is the wrong color. That's all right. It's bundled sage. <laughs> I thought it was, um, I thought it was frayed burlap. I want it like a tan. That's okay. I'm going to mix bundled sage in with um, pumice stone take care of that um love the card um thank you guys i hope you're enjoying the video so far can you use copics with archival um there i'm not sure um I want to say it might bleed. No, I know people that use Copics though to color with Jet Black Archival. Love the Wendy Vecchi embossing powder colors. She has a great palette, Wendy Vecchi. She sure does. Okay, so there's my dog and I'm gonna just do his collar real quick in blue. This is Stormy Sky. And then I'm just gonna do his little tag there. And I'm actually gonna do this little antenna thing. This is Wild Honey. And then I'm actually gonna go in with this Weathered Wood and I want it to be pretty light. Not recommend it. Use a coping. We're using archivals or not. Thanks, Wendy. I don't use Copics because we don't make them. This way. Okay, so I'm just coloring the little bubble. I forget where, I can't see where I put my blue down. And I'm just coloring this like edging here. I'm not even coloring all the way around. I'm just giving it a little bit of a shadow. And I'll color this helmet bottom. Okay, so that's good. So there's my little dog all colored in. Put him aside. 
going to come for my sentiment. Oh, thanks, Wendy. Okay, so I'm going to... I got a little... There we go. I'm going to put the lid back on. So this lid has a little needle in here that sits in here. Again, just gonna go this to here. All right, so there's my sentiment, but just something simple, put that aside. I'm gonna move my alcohol ink background over. So this should be pretty dried by now. Oh, duh, Wendy, yes, yes. Alcohol and archival, which are solvent, are not compatible. <sighs> okay, the next part, I'm going to add um, some glitter gel uh, to the background here. And I used, um, which one did I use? I used Nebula for this. Um, it has the little stars. Get this closer. And the stencil I'm going to use is actually from the Wendy Vecchi Make Art Stamp Die Stencil Set. These are great sets if you haven't seen them. They come with a clear stamp, a coordinating die um, that cuts out the flowers and other elements, and then a matching stencil. And the stencil usually has the mask at the top so you can color your flower perfectly. And if you've ever seen or followed Wendy Becky, who is on the live, she has amazing tips on how to use these. And there's eight sets, eight different ones. But I'm gonna use this little dot pattern here. So, um, and how I did this was I just really wanted to like randomly place the dots. My alcohol is a little bit damp in some areas, just letting you guys know some of those darker areas. But I'm just gonna go in here. Now look at this fluffy goodness. You see that? Okay. So just applying a thin layer through the stencil, through these little um, dots on this Wendy Vecchi die. And I'm not even, making sure I'm going through all of the the dots. I just like I want it to be random. And if you get like a little border there, you could just take your finger and erase it. That's why my hands are messy. Um, and then I'm just going to keep kind of rotating this. I kind of went in three areas because your mind likes um, odd numbers. That draws your I down the card if you do it in threes or fives. So there we go. Nice thin layer. If we went outside the line, that's okay. And then one more spot, I'm gonna go right in over here. And so after you go through this, you would wanna pop this stencil like right in, um, a tub of water or wipe it down with a baby wipe or wet paper towel. Same with the dilutions one. Since the dilutions one I only use one circle, I just I would just clean that with a paper towel. Okay. There you go. So there's our Galaxy background. I'm going to set that aside to dry. I'm going to clean up my palette knife. I'm going to wipe my stencil. I don't have a bucket here. I just don't have room for it. So I'm going to have to clean my stencils later. 
love the stars. Yeah, aren't the stars so pretty? And they're just subtle. It's just, and the thing about the glitter gels is you never know what you, you get, what you get, and you never know what you're going to get. It's kind of like alcohol ink. So here's our card here. I'm going to put this aside to dry as well. Put that up here. Move this out of the way. Okay, and then on to the last one, guys. Really moving along here. I'm proud, proud of myself. Oh, this is not the right top. Let's clean up. Let's just reset the area. Do you ever find a lid and you don't know what it belongs to? Because I had that happen. I have this lid sitting here and I have no idea where it belongs to. Okay. Alrighty guys. Oh, now the lid, the mysterious lid fell on the floor. All right, last one. And this is gonna be another alcohol ink one. Um, like that. Let me get that bin. And again, we are using a piece of Yupo, alcohol ink Yupo, that I cut down already to size. Uh, this is a letterit black cardstock panel, four and a quarter by five and a half. And I'm just going to mount uh, that onto there. So I cut this down from the five by seven size to four by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna use some more alcohol inks. As I said, I love alcohol inks. It's one of my favorite mediums to use. Um, I don't know if you saw this in the background, but I love alcohol ink. These are all of the new colors on Hardcore Art Panel. Um, okay, so let's get started. I need my blower again. I need my blending solution. I am gonna go in with Valencia uh, Alchemy Pearl aquamarine, and gilded alloy. <laughs> it's probably something that's drying out. You're right. Um, probably accurate. I'm glad you guys are loving the glitter gels. And I just, these are just a few ways that you can use them. You can use them in your art journal just the same way through stencils, direct to surface. On this one, we're actually gonna use them directly to the surface. Um, so I'm just gonna get started here and I'm going to. So when I do this technique, um, I do one color at a time. So I'm gonna start with um, the orange, Valencia. A little goes a long way. Of course, we add blending solution. And then we're kind of come in with the blower. I kind of hold it on an angle and I do light puffs of air to get it moving. And then as it's starting to settle, I go harder. Cause I like, I'm trying to get that soft look. And of course I have some of those like spiky areas. I hate those, I want it nice and soft. So I just put the blending solution right back over there and break it up. until you get something you're happy with. There's no right or wrong for any of this. It's just fun, right? It's distraction. It's an outlet. And it shouldn't matter if what you make, there are no rules, there's no right, there's no wrong. It's whatever makes you happy. So I like the look of that, I'm happy with that. Oh, thank you so much, Angie. I'm glad that you're enjoying this. It makes me feel really good. I was very nervous coming on today. No, it's not the blending solution lid. So the blending solution lid's here. It's it's actually this size. It's a I think it's a Stickles and Liquid Pearls lid. My my daughter was in them, and I have a feeling it it must just be from one of those. So okay. I also okay. I think last time I started with the blue. So when you're choosing your colors, you wanna pay attention to the color wheel a little bit. So I knew I wanted um, kind of like for the Hello Sunshine, I wanted to do the orange and the warm colors. 
but I'm a blue person. And so you just want to make sure your positioning, like how you position these um, is really important. So obviously like I, I put the blue on this side of the yellow so that way they can make a pretty green color. And I kept the orange and the yellow together um, because if I put the blue anywhere else, um, anywhere next to the orange, you would get mud. Um, and I didn't want that for Hello Sunshine. Just not the look I was going for. <laughs> so um, yellow in the middle in this case. And that's how you can incorporate um, colors on opposite sides of the color wheel to keep them away from each other. Okay, so this is a pearl, so good shape. You want the mixing uh, ball to rattle. We're just going, and you could use regular alcoholing for this. I just mixing it up, um, trying to play with that sheen. Um, and just, there we go. Off we go. Off we go. So if there's any Ranger products that you would like to see demoed, I am fully set up to be doing these lives um, at least weekly. And I'd be happy to take some requests. I have some ideas. Um, in my mind for some things so but if there's anything you that you guys are interested in let me know uh, thank you so much everyone okay I really look at how that is like mixed in there it's so pretty I think I'm gonna just keep that I don't want to go too crazy Yeah, I know. I know. Check Sandy. Um, my Michaels was doing like car side pickups. So we had a lot of new products that just went into Michaels and the blower is one of them. And I believe some stores are doing local pickups. I don't know if they still are or not. Um, but I remember seeing an email for, for that anyway. Okay, so this blue and a little blending solution and here we go i love blue i can't do much without adding like blue, a shade of blue i need some more and so the yellow and the blue are going to mix together and create a really pretty green as well And there's that green. I have a lot of blending solution down on this blue, so you could really see that ink moving around a lot. Right, and then I'm just gonna break this up just a little bit here. Again, I don't like any kind of wispy those like whiskers. I don't know what we'd call them whiskers. I don't like whiskers. So I just break that up. You can you can use 90% alcohol as well. That gives you a little bit more control where the blending solution really blasts blasts it out. Um some people do use traditional rubbing alcohol in conjunction with the blending solution. There is a place for both though. They do act differently. Okay, so before, I just need to stop, I think. <laughs> so I love that. I think that looks great. Um, so that is my background. Um, Katie, you did curbside. It's so convenient and safe, so true. Um, really a great, that's really great, great idea on Michael's behalf. So here is my background. I really am happy with how that came out. And this guy is an easy card. So what I did next, I'm going to just let that dry just a minute. I'm going to show you uh, my sentiment here. I just stamped 
um, in embossing ink, the Hello Sunshine. This is a lettered stamp set. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with our lettered line, but they are hand lettered by um, one of our graphic designers. Uh, her name is Taylor. And she hand lettered this set. And they're basically designed to achieve hand lettering on your cards without actually being a lettering artist. So we have a huge assortment of lettered stamps and they have lots of great sentiments. Uh, so I use the Hello Sunshine. This is one of our newer stamp sets and I embossed it in gold tinsel, which you can see here. And then I just fussy cut around it and I'm going to use some foam to mount it to my um, background here. And first, let me just see if this ink is dry. I think that's dry enough. Um, I am going to apply the glitter gel right over the entire surface. And I'm going to decide which way I'm going to put my Hello Sunshine after because like I thought originally when I was doing this card that I was going to have the orange in the front up front here, but then I liked the orange at the corner. So I think you just have to decide what looks nice. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Solar Flare which is the really gold silver gold star one. And for this, I like to use the big palette knife in this set. It's like a flat guy here. It's just great for spreading um, things out nice and evenly. So here we are. And I'm just going to go right over the surface just like this. Oh look, my hands are dirty and I got my card dirty. See, I told you guys I'm a messy crafter. But you know what, blending solution. That'll fix that. Okay, so now we're just spreading out this um, gel over our background and I try to avoid the white space because I just really wanted to keep that white space um, spreading and like I said thin is best you kind of have to like work it a little bit to get it you know how you like it just spread out nice and even I kind of got a lot of stars down there, but um, that's okay. I kind of like, again, you don't know what you're gonna get. Okay, so I think I'm good with that. And you can see I didn't, I dipped in the jar once or twice. It wasn't a lot. So a lot, a little bit goes a really long way with these. And um, next time I do live, I'm gonna have a lot more paper towels down here with me. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna take blending solution on a napkin, towel, whatever, and see, I'm just cleaning up my fingerprints um, that I messed up. And blending solution will clean up any of that area. So no worries, so blending solution is, is life, guys. And then if you don't, um, I have a great voice for doing lives. That really means a lot to me because I've heard the opposite, Angie. <laughs> um, so anyway, I'm just going to wipe away some of the glitter gel that kind of went like more into the white space than I wanted. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to be organic, but just cleaning it up just a little bit. Okay, so here is my finished background and you can see that gel paper towels are being hoarded that's that's true we were lucky because my husband he's in charge of the paper goods and he had just before this all started made a trip to um bj's which is um you know a i don't know if they're like nationwide I guess so They're like Costco and he stocked us up on paper towels and toilet paper and all that thank god 
I am glad that you guys are enjoying this video. So I'm gonna set this aside now to dry and then I'm gonna go back to my first card and we'll put everything together and I'm happy to answer if you guys have any additional questions, please let me know. So let's go back to this seize the day. And you know what I think I'm gonna do? Um, because my craft sheet is already folded and has a crease, I'm just gonna fold it up so that I could just work on this um, surface here. So, okay, so this is still a little bit damp, um, the, some of the glitter gel. So again, like I said, it depends on how thick you put it on. If you do a really thin layer, it'll dry quickly. But if you um, do it a little bit thicker, it'll take some time to dry. So heat tool will speed it along though. Okay, so let's assemble. I have some tape and foam. Um, this is lettered double stick tape. It's nothing fancy. It is just double sided tape, but it's really sticky. Um, so if you like a dry adhesive for card making, I highly recommend that one. This is going to be a little bit difficult because I am still a little damp. But that's okay. I want to show you guys how they come together. Love the blue one, the black one with the ocean. I'm a cancer, so water is my love. We are most, I feel like most people in New Jersey are water beach people because we do let it dry overnight. It doesn't take quite as long as overnight, um, but I would, like I made, this card yesterday and I put the gel down and I did some work and within like an hour an hour I want to say it was completely dry um so it just depends on the thickness like it could be anywhere from like a half an hour I've had things dry like a thin layer to an hour to like a couple hours so overnight if you're really like putting on a thick layer would be the safest but it's not necessary for um, all the time. So unfortunately, it's just one of those situations of it depends. I'm glad you like the glitter gels. Of course, see, now I'm having a hard time peeling this. Oh, here we go. I always have a hard time peeling, um, backings on camera. I feel like it's the world, the world torturing me. No, um, okay, so here we go. We're just gonna stick this down. This is our gray, um, our gray perfect cardstock. I'm just going to do this. So I'm gonna be careful not to get on the, oops, what's this guy? Not to get on the wet glitter gel. It's still a little damp in some areas. I wish I had a sink next to me. I have a little excess. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I got some on there, but that's okay, I'm gonna cover it. So let's glue this, let's see how these guys are doing. See, now this one is like, it's a little bit tacky, but it's it's like 50 to 75% dry. So we did that one first. So what was that? Maybe it's been an hour. The Ocean Chipboard is a Dina Wakely product. Dina and Wakely Media. All right, I'm just using a liquid adhesive for this. Matte medium would work great. Matte multi-medium. This is ice resin, leather adhesive. It's very similar to glossy accents. It just happens to be what I had on hand at home. So I'm going with it. And then we're gonna add the seahorse. I'm just putting little dots all around them. And let's see, I'm gonna layer this. I'm gonna cover that area. All right. 
I might need some foam under him, but let's see how that dries. I'm just gonna leave that like that. So I really like that. And then my hands are terrible, guys. Terrible. Okay, now a little bit more adhesive on our sentiment. So my daughter's been begging me if I can give her these when I'm done. So I think we're gonna send them to some relatives um, that we haven't been able to see. You would love to see some ice resin demos. Okay, that's good to know, Sandy. I will see if I can do that. Um, and is glitter gels thicker than stickles? Yes, so they are, the base is much thicker. Um, it's definitely made to spread on. It would never fit through the little tip of the stickles. Um, it also has a lot more glitter and different thicknesses of glitter. So it's not all fine. Some are fine, some are bigger. Um, so just the glitter gel. I see so many pretty things I need. <laughs> Um, you're gonna order the ocean chipboards. Yeah, aren't they great? I love them. Okay, so here we are. So first card done. I really love how those came out. My first sample, if you can see, where did I stick that one? Here we go. This was my first sample. So now look, I have two really, oops, can't see those, awesome under the sea cards ready to go. Um, I just have them on flat bases, but you could, you would mount them to like a folded base which I'll do if I send them out. Okay, the next one is, oh, whoops, don't wanna do that. Okay, the next one is our galaxy background. So let's check these stickles. So still a little damp, um, still needs a little bit more time. I'm actually gonna glue this with this adhesive because I don't wanna fuss with the, um, double stick tape when it's still a little bit damp. And we're just gonna mount this to a black. I think black just makes this really pop. Really cool. And let's get our little friend here, our little doggy and our sentiment. And did I do foam? Yeah, so I did foam on him and I did, let me get him down in the right spot. So letter it black foam tape right here adhesive foam. It comes in black, white, and clear. A lot of people don't know about the clear, but that's a really fun skew um, because it's it's like a raised, squishy kind of material. Um, so you can raise things up, but it's clear. So if you have, you know, if you want to try and hide some of that, that lift underneath, you can use the, the clear foam. Oh, I'm glad you like the cards. Yeah, I'm really happy with this background. Okay, let's peel this up. My hands are getting sticky now, guys, so kind of fumbling here. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the live. Again, if you're just catching on the tail end, um, be sure to, to share the video and comment that you've shared it because on Monday, I'll pick two people to receive a set of glitter gels. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I will be doing more demos, um, live demos from my little, my kid's playroom <laughs> slash turned home office. And um, I'm just gonna make sure I want where I wanna put this. I think I'm gonna put this here. And I would be happy to take some requests and see if I can incorporate anything into my videos that you guys would like to see. All right, and so some more of that le um, leather adhesive. Again, leather adhesive is very similar to glossy accents, so it's just like a liquid adhesive. And I'm kind of regretting flipping the background, but that's okay. Get them scooch this over to here. Okay, so second card. Here it is. That was my sample. That was my new background. I love both of them. Super cute. 
it's fun. Let's do this again. I think being isolated is hard and spending time with people is important. I so agree, Christina. I have been inside for two weeks now. And it's definitely, I feel like, you know, it's difficult for everybody. So I'm glad to be able to do this um, for you guys and just have some time chatting and having fun and sharing some creativity. It's so important. All right, so now the last card. This is like almost dry because it was so thin. So let's get in there. All right, again, we're gonna go in with the, the liquid. I just don't wanna futz with the tape. And this little, this little applicator tip is super easy for fine application. Okay. Line that up. I'm just gonna get a cut something there. Okay. All right, so that is down. Oh, thank you for sharing everyone. Um, Helen, we actually just did a Perfect Pearls video uh, last month. So if you scroll down in our feed, you'll be able to see a video of me demoing with Perfect Pearls. So um, if I can find your comment, I'll post the video, but we just did a Perfect Pearls um, video as well. Okay, and then I'm gonna use foam for the Hello Sunshine. I'm just gonna do two pieces here. Like I said, I embossed the stamp with gold tinsel embossing powder and cut it out ahead of time. The first galaxy one looks like the moon on the top. Oh, I'm gonna have to check that out. I didn't really notice. Where's the first one? Yeah, it does, huh? It's funny how that, um, that happens. I actually, I was having a lot of fun playing around so I actually did this card too with the same technique in the background and then I decided to do this instead I was playing with some gradient stamping with the hello sunshine okay last card if I can peel this backer off final step you guys we made it an hour and a half I'm so glad you joined me this afternoon. I hope this brightened up your Friday. Um, okay, so let's decide though. I didn't, this is orange on the top. I kind of like that. Or blue on the top. I think on this one, I like the orange on the top. So I'm gonna go with that. Mix it up. Okay, there you have it. The third card. Really cool, really fun. I'm so glad you guys joined me this afternoon for some card making with Stickles Glitter Gel. Let me get my original samples down here. We made some fun cards. We shared lots of fun ways to use Stickles. Um, the sparkles really just add a nice fun texture and dimension to your cards and other projects. Um, they look like gel plate backgrounds. Oh, thank you. Gel plate is a lot of fun. Um, I'm so glad. Oh, Margo, you're late. That's okay. We You can catch the replay. If you missed the video, if you joined in late, the replay will be posted. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Thank you all for tuning in. You know what? Let me flip, let me flip back around so I can say goodbye to you guys. <laughs> All right, let's, let's flip this this way. Can you guys see me? There we go. So thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you had some fun. And we'll be back next week with some more live. So stay tuned. Thanks again, everyone.